11.30 to go, first quarter play, no score between Buena Vista and Loris. BV's definitely gonna need some bigger plays like that to keep their, get their offense going, keep the crowd in it. That's gonna be huge for today's game, Tanner. Tyler Oberreiter is on the field, a sophomore from Battle Creek. Got in the game at last week at Simpson. He is at tight end right now to the near side. Beager will look, drops, he will step and fire, puts up a deep ball, it's caught, and it's a touchdown, Buena Vista! Jordan, Jordan Anderson caught the touchdown there for the Beavers. Jordan Great able to burn the corner, uses his speed. Beaver fans know how fast he is, and that's what speed do. 48 yards out, Jalen Henningsen in the end zone on the hookup from Beaver. Well, in three plays, Buena Vista marches 92 yards off the Loris turnover. And as happy as we are about it, I think Beaver fans got to wonder, where's that offense been all year? No kidding, Tanner, no kidding. The Beavers can keep this up today. This will be a good sign here for the homecoming game today. Now the new holder is going to be Cole Miller. Usually it's Ben Seitz who is injured for today's game. It'll be Miller the hold. Arnold will snap. Left-footed kicker Tyler Stolen has the PAT on the way, and it is good. And with 11.01 to go here in the first quarter play, it's the score of Una Vista 7 and Loris 0. You wonder, is this two-down territory, or do you kick the field goal if you don't get it here? We'll see what Coach Anderson, the former Beaver offensive coordinator, will do here. Beaver will drop back. He will look. Step, fire, fade out in zone, and out of bounds, incomplete anyway. And it'll bring up fourth down and eight from the nine-yard line, and they will send the field goal unit on. Tyler Stolen will come on to try and attempt from 26 yards out. 8.19 to go here in the first quarter play. Beavers lead at 7-0, trying to increase that lead for Loris. Got to feel a little bit of momentum, able to force that stop from BVU. Miller the hold, kick is on the way, and Stolen kick is up, kick is good. And Buena Vista leads it 10 0 with under 8.20 to go in the first quarter of play. 10 0 Buena Vista. Stolen hits from 18 yards, or from a big part, 27 yards out. 10 0 Buena Vista looking to get a stop of Loris here in the BV red zone. Four out wide. Shotgun for Bombover. Bombover will look. He will step. He will pump fake. Rolling to his right. Looking for a man. He will fire across the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, Loris. That's Bergfeld able to make the catch. Great find by Bombover. He rolled out, had the pump fake, great presence of mind, and looked, and he found Bergfeld, who makes the diving catch in the end zone for the Loris touchdown. Looks like the Beaver defensive line kind of gave up on that play after, uh, excuse me, Bombover rolled out. They just kind of gave up on that play. I don't know what happened there. Lining up as if they were going to go for two, and now we'll go to the more conventional PAT kick as quickly is on to try and boot it through. The hold will be from Josh Schulte. Hold is down, the kick is on the way. The PAT is up and it is good. And that makes the score Buena Vista 10. Laura seven with 4.33 to go in the first quarter of play. Third down and short. Back to pass, firing quick slant across the middle, touchdown Loris. And the Newhawks take the lead on the touchdown to Willis. Well, Castoro make that 18 instead of 19 who made the catch. 11.42 to go here in the second quarter play, and Loris has just taken their first lead of the game. So Quigley is on for the PAT. Loris rotates personnel. The kick here would give them a four-point lead. Quickly, right-footed kicker approaches. Kick is on the way, and the kick is good. And with that, Loris will take a 14 to 10 lead with 11.42 to go, second quarter of play. Kyle will go ahead and take a look at the numbers if you have those pulled up. Four wide, three wide, beg your pardon. Bomb over, will look. He will step, rolling, fires across the middle. Got a man, and he's into the open field. 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown, Loris. And his second straight Result touchdown by Mikey Castoro to make the catch for Loris, who now extends their lead to 20 to 10 PAT pending. 9.19 to go. 
Here in the second quarter play, Loris lining up again like they're going to go for two on the left hash. And now they will go over to the more conventional PAT kick. And here is Quigley. Getting set, hold is down, kick from Quigley is on the way. And it is good, and that makes the score Loris 21. And Buena Vista 10 with 9.19 to go here in the second quarter of play. Buena Vista jumped out to a 10-0 lead on our first two possessions of the game, but since then, 21 unanswered by Loris. Indication is against BB. Snap infraction. Offense, 21. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. That's against Kyle Arnold, the snapper. So that'll back him up five yards, which honestly is not a bad thing in this situation because of the angle, being a left-footed kicker on the right hash mark. You know, it could help just a little bit and make that not as bad of a kick. A lot of times you see teams take a delay game penalty there intentionally. Exactly. And just try and get back a few yards. Stolen with the kick now from 26 yards out. That one is up on the way, and the kick is good. And this is a one-possession football game with 5.49 to go in the third quarter play. The score is Loris 21 and Buena Vista 13. Bomb over. Man in motion is Davis. Bomb over. Will look. Turn. Give to Minch. Minch, he's going to be wrapped up. He's got the first down and breaks one loose. And Minch is going to rumble this one in for the touchdown. And like you said earlier, we have to wrap up, and we didn't right there. No. Yards after contact got about everything after contact. That's right. They had him stopped for the – was not going to get the first down there. The Beavers just not able to wrap up. So, Loris, that's got to be a spirit breaker. And coming up will be Quigley trying to tempt the PAT, but Loris goes back up by two scores with 4.09 to go. Their largest lead of the game is 14, PAT pending from Mason Quigley. Get set for the PAT. Hold is down, kick is on the way, and the kick is good. So that makes the score, Loris 28, and Buena Vista 13 with 4.09 to go in the third quarter play. Largest lead of the game for either team. Getting set. Turning, faking the give, will throw fire end zone touchdown to Schulte. Pass complete for a touchdown. And that may be the dagger. Hopefully not too early to talk about it, but it's in the back of your mind. you got to be thinking. We talked about that in the pregame, though, Tanner, that the possessions were what killed BV last week against Simpson, and they had to take care of the ball if they wanted to have a chance against Loris, and they just simply haven't taken care of the ball. Been a tough game so far as far as getting down there. I bet we get down there fine, but then we turn the ball over and some things, yeah, as you said, we talked about, we just got to clean up. I mean, we could be right in this ball game. The last all two the times we're down there. Last two drives, we've been in the red zone. Hold is down. The kick from Quigley is on the way, and it's good. And with 12.51 to go in the fourth quarter, that makes the score of Loris 35 and Buena Vista 13. First down and goal, Loris. They're not content with the lead they have. Looking, he will step. He will fire in zone touchdown, Loris. That is Schulte on the touchdown grab from Baumover with 9.16 to go in the ball game. 41-13 is our score as Loris continues to pile it on here over BV. Quigley is on the field to attempt the point out. Here comes Mason Quigley to try and boot it through. As they get set, hold is down. The kick is on the way. And the kick is good from Quigley. With 9.16 to go in the ball game, that makes the score Loris 42 and Buena Vista 13. Now Kyle, that has just got to break the spirit. We knew it was going to be tough going into it. Back to passes, Beaker. He will look, fire deep, going for Henningsen, makes the catch, and he's in the end zone. Jalen Henningsen, that's what speed do. That's a great. That play has worked all day, Tanner. He's been open every time. Bigger's overthrown him a couple times, but it's worked every time. They got to keep going back to that. Henningsen's just so fast. He's beating the corner every single time. That's great. That's getting the crowd back into it. I mean, it's still a deficit to overcome, but the Beavers definitely got some life left in them here. That's the bread and butter. 
the Beavers with the receivers switching sides of the field so often. Loris, one thing I noticed is not switching their corners. Their best corner, Young, is staying on the right side of the field no matter who's on there or not. And the kick is on the way from Stolen. The PAT is up and the kick is good. So with 7.49 to go in the fourth quarter play, the score, Loris 42 and Univista 20. Official spot is the 23. 5.58 to go. Clock will start when the ball is set. Out of the shotgun. Beager, two receivers to each side. Back to pass. Beager will look. Looks left all the way. Fires looking for Henningsen. Touchdown, Beavers! Jalen Henningsen, Mr. Reliable. Went right at Maurice Young there, threw it right over top of him. Henningsen's just so fast, though, there's not much this Duhawk defense can do to stop him. Hey, our top receiver on their top corner, we just got to go and get him. We're going right after him at this part of the game, and Henningsen and Beager able to team up and win the matchup. And there is life in Jay Leslie Rollins Stadium. The fans are on their feet. This is huge. Extra point up and good. Putting it through is Tyler Stolen. 5.46 to go in this game. Loris lead trimmed to 42 to 27. Loris is lined up again as if they're going to receive an onside kick again. Have to see what the Beavers come up with. We have scored more in the last five minutes than we have in any game so far this season. What an offensive put out for BVU and the momentum shift. Brady Hilly recovering the fumble. And the next play, Jalen Henningsen is in the end zone. That may be as tall of an order as you could ask for, but the way they've been putting on points. Uh, by the way, if it does come down to a field goal, Mason Quigley is five for seven on the season. His long is only 28, and he'll be kicking into a 30 mile an hour wind. So getting set, out of the shotgun with trips to the right side, back to pass. pass. He will look, step, fire for the end zone, caught it, touchdown, Loris. And that may be the dagger. And Castoro, who has had plenty of receptions in the end zone today, gets another one there. With 2.18 to go in this one. Might be the nail in the coffin. So getting set, here's Quigley on to try and kick this one through. The hold is down, kick is on the way, and it is up and it is no, no good. good. So quickly misses the PAT, and that's a huge because if BV can get a quick score and we can get an onside, we don't have to go for two anymore. That's right, Tanner. And any hopes of getting back into this game will rest on this play. Beavers at Luther next week and home in two weeks against Dubuque. Both those 1 o'clock kickoffs. Fourth down, any hope for the Beavers get back into it? Rest here. Beager steps. He will look. Fire in zone. It's Travis. Did he catch it? He Let's caught go. it. Jordan Travis, the freshman, goes up and makes the grab. And the Beavers do have life. That's right, Tanner. There's 12 seconds left to go. Looks like Stolen's on to kick the extra point. We'll have to see what happens from there. Only 12 seconds to go in this one. The Beavers just made it a one possession game. Stolen for the PAT. They will get set. Hold for Miller, snap. It is on the way and the kick is good. And with 12 seconds to go, it's Loris 48 and Buena Vista 41. 12 seconds to go in this one. No timeouts left for Buena Vista. And the Duhawks will take over. March no timeouts off. left for Buena Vista. We are helpless to stop the clock. And unless something miraculous happens, BVU is going to fall to 1-4 and four on the season. 0-2 in the Iowa Conference. Loris will improve to 2-3 and three and 1-1 one and one in the Iowa Conference. Victory formation for the Duhawks. Get set, taking the knee as bomb over, and that is going to do it. Final score, Loris spoils the Buena Vista homecoming by a score of 48 to 41.